Welcome to the 56th annual Fort Verde Days Parade, presented by Camp Verde Promotions. Our television broadcast is brought to you by Salt River Materials Group, creating opportunities and solutions with quality products and exceptional people. 100% American. Steve Corey Automotive Family, our family serving your family on Highway 260 in Camp Verde. Stage Stop Businesses, Laidback Jewelers, Ellis Firearms, and Lori's Looking Good Family Hair Design and Tanning. In the Adobe Stage Stop Building in downtown Camp Verde. The Horn Saloon. Stop by, kick back, and be a part of Western history in the heart of historic downtown Camp Verde. Verde Soul Air Services, AC heating, plumbing, solar, and geothermal, your indoor comfort experts for over 29 years. And the town of Camp Verde, Arizona's base camp to adventure. And now here's Pam Irvin and Brian James. Hi and welcome everyone to Verde Valley Television's first annual presentation of the 56th annual Fort Verde Days Parade right here in Camp Verde. I'm Pam Irvin, Brian James, and we'll be bringing you all of the details on all of the floats and activities throughout the parade. We have already enjoyed the Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast. The flag raising ceremony has begun and Brian just uh, a few seconds ago it was really exciting, Pam. The DPS air rescue helicopter flyover, it looked like uh, you could reach up and touch the helicopter. It was so close. A great crowd on hand. It's great to see what seems to be the entire city of Camp Verde ready for this, uh, what is sure to be an unbelievable parade. This 56th annual Fort Verde Days Parade and the weather, you couldn't order a nicer day, Pam. After the rain this last week, we are so fortunate. This is the most gorgeous day that I've seen in a while. So it it'll really be is. fun. It really is. And we're not too far from starting things. I know we wanted to thank a few of our great TV sponsors, and they include Salt River Materials Group, creating opportunities and solutions with quality products and exceptional people, 100% American. We'd also like to thank the Steve Corey Automotive family on Highway 260 and some of the stage stop businesses, including Laidback Jewelers, Ellis Firearms, and Lori's Looking Good Family Hair Design and Tanning. We also want to say thanks to the Horn Saloon. Stop by, kick back, and be part of Western history right here in the heart of historic downtown Camp Verde. Verde Solaire for all your AC, heating, plumbing, solar, geothermal needs. Your indoor comfort experts for the over 29 years and for the town of Camp Verde, who not only is supporting the presentation of this parade, but helped us uh, by providing electricity for all of our needs today. Also want to say a big thank you to Camp Verde Promotions. They're the uh, organization, the ladies that put this together with a lot of support from the community businesses, a lot of members of the community. Be sure and grab a program and, and support those businesses that made this all possible. And with Fort Verde State Park just a few steps away from us, the Camp Verde Community Soccer Field is a carnival for the entire weekend. I would say it's official, Pam. Let's kick this parade off and it is officially underway. The 56th Annual Fort Verde Days Parade and you can't start the Fort Verde Days Parade without the Camp Verde Calvary, and that's who's going to start today's parade. The Camp Verde Calvary founded in 1958 and is ridden in every single Fort Verde Days Parade, as well as hundreds of other parades throughout the Southwest. Colonel Howard Parrish will be escorting Sherry McDonald, this year's Colonel's Daughter. What a great presentation. Isn't she beautiful? She really is. She really is. And it's quite an honor to be the Colonel's daughter. And uh, once again, congratulations to Sherry McDonald, this year's Colonel's daughter. And Sherry is followed by first runner-up Shelby Bowler, escorted by Trooper Jim Meredith. Second runner-up is Riley Smith, and she's escorted by Trooper Dave Carter. The attendants to the Colonel's daughter are Laramie Mann, Alana Neary, Rayanne Martinez, Chelsea Allen, Paige Lacey, and Cassidy Perez. Riding official U.S. Cavalry McClellan saddles in 1880s uniforms, the Camp Verde Cavalry proudly celebrate 100 years of Arizona statehoods and this year's 56th Annual Fort Verde Days Parade. And you couldn't think of a better way, again, to start this 56th Annual Parade. Coming up in the truck behind us, we're going to have the little guy and the little gal winners. This should be very cute. We're looking forward to seeing them. But the little guy is going to be Nathan Holt and the little gal, Aislinn Mulcair. Look at these little guys, they're perfect. And as we kind of get our first gl glimpse of them, look at that hair, adorable. 
And it looks like we have uh, Steve Corey helping get them down the parade route. What a great opportunity. Congratulations, guys. Absolutely. Next up, we have uh, American Legion Post 93 Color Guard. Uh, American Legion Post 93 was chartered in 1976 and over the past several years has served as the official Veterans Color Guard for the Fort Verde Days Parade. Following that, we see our first glimpse of some red, white, and blue, and this will be the American Legion Family of Post, Auxiliary number 93. And as they get closer aboard, we'll find Commander Marge Fella, past post commander Ron Embley, Unit President Rosalie McKnight, along with other members, including the Junior Auxiliary and Sons of the American Legion. Their primary focus is to serve the veterans and the active duty personnel and their families. Thanks, guys, for this great presentation. Well, we have a short break in the action, Pam. Um, I think we saw in the open where we're sitting on quite an unbelievable unit here. This is the Copper Star Indoor Shooting Ranges. It's the magnificent traveling Unimog. 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 And this, what a great little truck. It's got some history that we'll get into, but uh, when you talk about off-road vehicles in its day, this was this was the off-road vehicles of all off-road vehicles. And we sure want to say thanks to Copper Star Indoor Shooting Range for allowing us to use this as our platform for, for today. Absolutely. As things are getting exciting down there, Pam, uh, on Highway 260, they're, they're very close to opening. They are. And speaking of exciting, I think we've got ex some excitement coming up. This year, it's our pleasure to honor and select the first responders of our area as our Grand Marshals. On the float, you'll find Officer Shannon Soto from the Department of Public Safety. He's joined by Yavapai County Deputy Logan Moody and Sergeant Daniel Reyes. DPS and the Sheriff's Office covered Yavapai County and Camp Verde until 1987 when the town became incorporated and Chuck Devine became the first Marshal of Camp Verde. Now welcome in our midst our new Marshal Nancy Gardner and longtime resident commander Steve Gannis. Representing the Camp Verde Fire District is Fire Chief Clayton Young, who's been with the district since 1975. Camp Verde Fire District formed in 1961 under an elected Chief and Secretary Treasurer and in 2010 changed to a five-member Board of Directors. And they've certainly become an important part of, uh, of parades in general, too. And it's great to uh, honor this year in the 56th Annual Fort Verde Days Parade our first responders as the Grand Marshals of this year's parade. Coming up, we have the latest group to join the forces, which is the Yavapai Apache Nation Police Department. Now, that became official in 1998. The nation hired its first chief of police, a police sergeant, and police officer. Now, consists of 14 sworn officers, certified by the state of Arizona, and is led by Larry Moses, chief of police. We also had uh, the pleasure of seeing a beautiful Camaro driven by Captain Golden of the P Department of Public Safety and Sergeant Jim Haas driving a highway patrol car along with two motor officers from Phoenix. I know that we'll see a lot of uh, additional members of our first responders force uh, available here uh, representing the uh, Yavapai County uh, law enforcement and first responders units. And of course, not Thanks, wanting everyone. to be Oops. absolutely not wanting to be last in this uh, parade. Our fire trucks, ladder truck engines, hazmat trucks, and ambulances, which are operated by special teams, including Swift Water and Rope Rescue and Fire Prevention Groups, complete with clowns. Did they say clowns? I think they did. Clowns! <laughs> wow. Brian, check out in this first truck. Uh, we are meeting young Bruce Turner riding on one of these trucks. truly another of our first responders as he helped save the life of a young friend from the icy waters of the river. He's also a Cub Scout and he deserves all the high fives we can give him. 
That is an incredible story, and hopefully this parade is something he'll never forget, as what a thrill it would be to ride through Main Street Camp Verde during the 56th annual Fort Verde Days Parade. It, it seems like we have the whole town out here, and everyone recognizing that he is a hero, and he truly is, and he should be. Well, I think everyone appreciates all the work that all of our first responders do. Absolutely, and they, they, they I'm sh I know, don't get enough credit for what they do. Thanks so much, everyone, for all your involvement, and we uh, sure appreciate you bringing uh, all of these great vehicles on the parade. Now look how many people they got on that ladder. I know it. What a thrill that would be. How fun. Brian, can you handle this, and I'm going to go catch up with them and ride on the ladder? <laughs> I was going to ask you the same thing. <laughs> they might not have room for us. Uh, it's looking like maybe not. You know, Brian, we have a couple more seconds here real quick. Um, give us a little bit more scoop on this truck. I know it began its early life in Germany. Yeah, What's yeah. In stage? fact, it was made in Germany. It was a fire truck for a small village. And then the truck ventured to the hot island climates of the South Pacific, still used as a fire truck. Well, that's what we can do. We can just turn it around and get in the You know, parade. maybe they'll let us squeeze maybe in behind there. Yeah, I would love I'm it. I would sure. love it. Of course, uh, is uh, Copper Star Indoor Shooting Rage proud to uh, sponsor us and let us use their truck to uh, uh, broadcast the parade today? They did not leave leave us the keys. Probably for good reason. I too. was going to say probably very, very smart on their part. But absolutely. Uh, certainly one of the uh, the ultimate off-road vehicles in its day today. Not romping through the desert forest uh, or, or, or anything like that anymore. Mostly used uh, for parades and of course finds its home resting at the Copper Star Indoor Shooting Range, which they ho hope to have open by the end of the year, maybe as early as November. And again, things starting to look good out there. They're on Highway 260, uh, kind of between Cottonwood and Camp Verde. They are, yep, definitely making progress out out there and uh, and we sure appreciate them allowing us to use this. It was in the Fort Verde Days Parade last year, so we're very fortunate that they uh, allowed it to be stationary this year, but still be a part of the parade. And coming up uh, uh, now, uh, what, one of my favorites, uh, anything to do with horses has to be one of my favorites in the parade. And then of course this, the, the world famous Wells Fargo Stagecoach with George Lane handling the ribbons. Wells Fargo Stagecoach has traveled at an average of five miles per hour stopped every 45 to 50 miles for meals, which usually consisted of tough beef, beans, and grassy potatoes, and occasionally uh, a dried apple pie with uh, coffee strong enough to float a mule shoe, whatever <laughs> that means. <laughs> I, uh, whatever that is, that's pretty strong coffee. But the coaches uh, could hold up to nine people with nine more uh, sitting on the roof, uh, much like we saw the fire truck earlier. They can uh, pile high on the stagecoach. It looks like it's probably loaded with at least nine people this morning. And uh, today the Wells Fargo stagecoach rolls through through the town for our Camp Verde Parade, and we appreciate having them in the parade today. Right behind the great Wells Fargo stagecoach, we have a bunch of people that are, it's very important to recognize. The Fort Verde State Historic Park and Photographer's Wagon. Our own Fort Verde is one of the best preserved examples of a period fort in Arizona. Uh, they host several special events throughout the year, Buffalo Soldiers, Soldiers in February, the History of the Soldier in April, Fort Verde Days right here and now in October, and to Vintage Frontier Christmas. Uh, the park's open, uh, it's open, it's free all day, and stop by and tour all this weekend. There's going to be uh, demonstrations, living history presentations. They have a lot of events going on all year long. And uh, remember that we want to support the park, keep it open. Our volunteers have done a tremendous job at putting a lot of effort to keep this park going. Absolutely, and uh, just steps away from where we are today. And during Fort Verde days, it's always great to have uh, free admission. And, and we encourage everyone, uh, and hopefully everyone took advantage of it during Fort Verde days weekend and, and walk through that museum. It is definitely worthwhile. Definitely great to be part of the adventure right here in Camp Verde. Thanks for the Wells Fargo appearances. If you'd like to see it, go to Wells Fargo Team. There's so much authenticism, they can even drop down and get a little bit more shade on that wagon. <laughs> How fun is that? And following that, we have the Camp Verde Historical Society Adventures in Scouting. The Boy Scouts of America have been providing adventures to the boys since 1910. A private ranch has provided a base camp to adventure along the Verde River for over 30 years. The boys on the float are from Peck, 
number 7193, sponsored by the United Methodist Church here in Camp Verde. Also riding on the flown is Frank Brinkman, a scouter for over 40 years and is committee chairman of Pack 7193. The Cub Master is Bruce Carlson. Brian, Cub Scouts are the beginning of what can be lifelong adventures in scouting. It builds confidence, compassion, responsibility, and courage. As witnessed by Bruce Turner, who is a Cub Scout, if you'll remember, and was riding on the fire truck. Right. So these guys are um, just beginning their adventures. And it's great to see, and that's a pretty adventurous float they have. The tents, look at that. They're ready to roast those uh, uh, marshmallows for s'mores. I'm sure they'll have some graham cracker and chocolate to go with those to complete it. Even Cut. some fishing in the back. Look at that. Gosh, Brian, uh, there's so many things. I just started. I want to take off and go with them. It's pretty They're busy. That fun. looks like a fun weekend, doesn't yeah. it? What a getaway. That's great. Hi. A lot of patches in the back, and that's great to see the Cub Scouts on hand here today. Working Following them, we welcome the U.S. Forest Service. Look at that, that is Smokey. Smokey the Bear working with our first responders in the prevention of human-caused wildfires since 1944. I don't have the statistic in front of me, Pam, but uh, the number of fires that are human-caused, uh, it's... It's staggering. It is staggering. It is staggering. Put out those fours for when you when you go camping with the Cub Scouts there, you know they're going to put out their fires. Everyone else needs to do the same. They're, cool we to should, the touch. Right. We should learn uh, learn from them. But what an honor to have Smokey part of our parade. That's awesome. It's, uh, you know, one, one of the highlights in this business. I, I've had my picture taken a few times with Smokey. Certainly some of the highlights. Okay. I, I'll have to find him afterwards. You got the camera? You will, you will. All yeah, right. he's very, All right. he loves taking pictures with people. I love it. Their banner does say fire prevention is a community effort and uh, it certainly is. It certainly, uh, it's, it's fun when, you, when we do go camping to just have the, uh, the Forest Service catch up with us and make sure everything's uh, going okay so we appreciate their work. Uh, another group that we appreciate tremendously is uh, is the Marine Corps League, Detachment 1176 from the Verde Valley. Uh, so join another adventure and join the Marines and our Navy Corpsmen. Uh, anybody that is, is a Marine, was a Marine, is eligible, and uh, give Bud a call. They do a lot of great work around the community, including, uh, obviously, Toys for Tots, and uh, they really contribute tremendously to the community. That Toys for Tons program just around the corner. Uh, all Christmas of those holidays. It's starting to become inside, as you notice uh, when you go to bed at night. You can't leave the windows open it, anymore. Uh, it's getting exactly. chilly. Exactly. All of the holiday festivities are right around the corner, though. Oh, now I'm it excited. sounds like a parade, Pam. We have our first marching band. And this one comes from the other side of Mingus Mountain, the Chino Valley Marching Cougars. Yay. Chino Valley Marching Cougar Band is under the direction of Mr. Tom Wiegert. The band features drum major Vanessa Hurd, drumline captain Chan Buxel, and flag corps captain Amber Lokowski. The bank is a developing marching band with students first grades uh, nine through first uh, excuse me students one grades nine through twelve and has performed with the Arizona State Fair every year along with other celebrations like today's Fort Verde Days Parade and I think we'll give a listen now. Listen to that. Brian, we've got a little bit of a break again. We can still hear the, the marching cougars in the background, but uh, we briefly touched on the fact that the holiday season is right around the corner. The weather's starting to uh, have a little bit of a chill in it. And uh, we've got a lot of uh, activities coming up. You know, there really is uh, throughout the, the entire Verde Valley. In fact, uh, the October 19th through the 21st, it's the Verde Valley Fall Festival at Jackpot Ranch here in Camp Verde. We also have uh, going over to Sedona, the Sedona Gem and Mineral Show coming up on October 20th at the Sedona Red Rock High School. October 27th, right back here in Camp Verde. This one looks pretty interesting. 
the Kingdom of the Spiders reunion. Have taking you place. not seen that? No. Oh no, my I haven't. goodness! The movie is uh, was from right here. It was uh, it's brought here by Birdie Entertainment and the Town of Camp Birdie because we're one of the stars. Absolutely. Along absolutely. with William Shatner. <laughs> Of course, Halloween right around the corner too, Pam. Have you picked out your costume? Everyone wants to know. Well, I'm keeping it a secret. Okay, okay, fair that enough. That way maybe I can go incognito and I won't get in trouble for having <laughs> too much fun. What do you think? There you go. That's during the month of October, Brian, and then we head on into November and there are quite a few different things. First of all, uh, first and foremost on my mind is that we will be uh, into playoff season for the high school football we games. We certainly hope to be, absolutely. And uh, it's looking good, looking good, a little bit. Good. Yeah, little little rough patch, but we're looking pretty good. And then the uh, youth football also will have, uh, their games are gonna be, their championship games are mid-November. Plus, we start off uh, some of the real holiday stuff. Walking on Main is right. in Old Town Cottonwood. That's a lot of fun. They have their big Christmas parade in Cottonwood on December 1st. Right back here in Camp Verde, on the 8th, the Camp Verde Parade of Lights. So that's true. Remember, all month long in December, we have, um, of course, Tlacopaki. That's a huge festival of lights. And our very own Kessel Cornville Christmas lights uh, will be available to view during the month of December as well. And if you have not seen that presentation, it is the most unbelievable choreographed light show. There must be five million light bulbs that uh, flash sequence to music. It is just incredible. Definitely worth the drive out there three or four times during the holiday season. And while we do air the uh, light show on Verde Valley Television, you can check out VerdeValleyTV.com to get the listings on it. it. It's beautiful on television, but cannot compare with seeing it live and in person out at the uh, out in Cornville. Also, just a reminder, if you're joining the parade late while you're viewing it this time, check out VerdeValleyTV.com for this schedule. You'll be able to catch the 56th Annual Fort Verde Days Parade uh, throughout the rest of October. Absolutely, and that's exciting. We talked about uh, festivities coming up at the Jackpot Ranch, and it looks like that classic blue truck uh, will be the Jackpot Ranch. It looks like it. Uh, the next adventure, it takes place next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as we mentioned, and your assignment, and please choose to accept it, is to report for a tour of the Family Fall Fun that includes three days of live music, hay rides, pumpkins, food, beer, wine, live auction, arts, crafts, a huge carnival, midway, and lots more. Admission is free. Um, plan to uh, take uh, advantage of all of the food and drinks that are available, though. Going to be a lot of fun, and that's coming up uh, the 19th through the 21st of October. We'd also like to welcome the Arizona Rough Riders. They're a living history group that represents the soldiers and civilians of the 1898 era during the Spanish-American War. The Arizona Rough Riders, it seems like uh, they're always a part of every parade I've been involved in, and it's great to have them here today. I was going to say as well, they should be. They're truly a part of Arizona history. Right behind them, Greyhounds of the Verde Valley. They're beautifully beautiful rescued greyhounds and they're retired from racing but they're looking for loving homes and families they're racing to grab your heart and not your gold we don't want to get into it too deep but i've had a, many opportunities as we're very involved with animal organizations and the greyhounds of the verde valley do great things they have a number of volunteers these dogs uh live with them until they have found a home and again you mentioned they are retired from racing and it's uh uh, not treated the best uh, during their racing career, to say the least. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're such loving animals and uh, and looking for homes. I'm sure most of these animals right here are available for adoption. So it's definitely worth contacting the Greyhounds of the Verde Valley. Maybe you're looking for your new best friend. They're, um, they're getting introduced to many uh members of the the community that are watching the parade and uh, they truly look like look how well they're interacting with them they just really want their forever family yeah and they're they're very fan friendly breed and and even though uh, maybe they were racers as a career they're actually quite uh, i don't want to use the word lazy but uh, they're quite calm they're calm and laid back and yeah. and sweet i know <laughs> yeah they may not steal your gold but i'd watch out for this guy right here <laughs> That is quite the costume. <laughs> Look at all of them. I know they're beautiful. Can't say enough by uh, how impressed I am with the attendance of this uh, parade as we look all the way down Main Street. 
There is not many open spots, so if you got here today late, you might have to catch the replay on Verde Valley TV because there might not be a spot. Well, which isn't a bad idea, Absolutely but we hope not. you made it. We hope everybody was able to watch this in person, and I know that not only the community of Camp Verde, but the entire Verde Valley supports Fort Verde Days. Well, following the dogs, looks like we have the hogs. The Americans Motorcycle Club, a nonprofit organization raising monies for fighting children's cancer. They're also supporting national and local community charitable projects. As we welcome the Americans Motorcycle Club, and it looks like they're revving up to make quite an entrance here, Pam. Uh-oh, do I need to plug my ears? <laughs> I hope so. I love that feeling, that too. rumble deep down, that's awesome. still feel the rumble, the I American Motorcycle Club. Again, doing great thing, uh, dubbing to raise money to fight children's cancer. It is a good time to remind people that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, here we go. Any opportunity to remind people to help support those organizations that help fight that. Absolutely. Right behind our bikers is the American Heritage Academy. The Camp Verde Student Council, they're building, I'm sorry, building heroes today. President Alyssa Leon, Vice President Savannah Cooley, and advisor Ms. A. Lallman. Appreciate American Heritage Academy being part of the uh, Fort Verde Days Parade. That's a great, great opportunity for them. Now we'd like to welcome the Camp Verde Unified School District Transportation meeting the needs of Camp Verde students' travel requests statewide. If your kids need to be there, they make it happy. The Camp Verde Unified School District Transportation Department. And look at the bus they've created in the back of this amazing float with pictures throughout not just northern Arizona, it looks like the entire state of Arizona. That is, that is something. Okay, and I have to say this, bless their hearts for providing these kids transportation. I've raised a bunch of kids and grandkids and that's, that's a challenge. Absolutely is. And then Camp Verde Head Start. Many children's first school adventure begins at Head Start. Head Start gives them the basics and they certainly look like they've got the basics down. Look at those little guys. It looks like we're getting ready for Christmas in the back with some lighted Christmas trees. Always the kids' favorite time of year, isn't it? I think it's always my favorite time of year, too. Oh, me too. <laughs> I usually blame it on the kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> Use the kids as an excuse. I That's do fine. all of this with, for the kids. <laughs> all right. As people enjoy picking up the candy that they have to throw out, looks like maybe some more candy coming with the Camp Verde Middle School. Student Council, proud to support their first responders, our first responders. We want to thank you for keeping us safe and saving lives on a daily basis. The first responders, uh, we continue to thank them for throughout the parade, including the Camp Verde Middle School. I really like that the schools, um, that we're giving them some reason to understand the respect that we owe our first responders. That's an awesome Lost a lesson hat. to learn. I hope they find the hat. Uh oh, oh, oh yay, the hat Way to step in. <laughs> in keeping with our um, schools, next up we have huh. I think we uh, this is this is I our th first surprise yeah, in uh, the presentation. This I is think going we to are, be but that's okay. It is, it is. Uh, of course taking place this Fort Verde Days weekend, we're going to have which I'm sure is Bob Weir uh, and his great clown acts. This is going to be the Camp Verde Wrestling Program's Bull Bash. And of course, great presentation last night at Cliff Castle Casino Hotel Stargazer Pavilion. Look at we have the bull in the back there. A lot of cowboys in town this weekend for Fort Verde Days. Bull bash is always a lot of fun. And the kids' rodeo, I heard, was absolutely, uh, is an absolute must-see. And that's always a highlight. Okay, now we have a great entry, Sunnyside Middle School. It's a middle school for sixth through eighth grades in their eighth year. Thanks for being part of the parade, folks. I always love the classic cars, too. Look at that bucket seat in the back popped up. It's always... 
I'm such a car guy. I love stuff like that. That's awesome. Next, Sunnyside Charter Monastery School. I always thought how fun that would be to have something like that in your garage, you know, just for movie night on Saturday night. Just would to go out sweet? and have dinner. Yeah. <laughs> While we've got a little bit of a break in the action, I'll remind everyone again, VerdeValleyTV.com, you can check out the programming schedule for the rest of the airings of the Fort Verde Days Parade, as well as uh, many of the other programs. Uh, we saw the Greyhounds. We uh, There's a great program on Verde Valley TV that uh, features a lot of adoptable dogs, dogs that needs for, need forever homes. And uh, catch that if, you, if you're in the market and want to just get a little bit of a preview of what you might find at the Humane uh, I'm going societies. to put a little warning disclaimer on that show. It's hard to watch it and not want to take every animal home that you see. It is so well produced. It's so great uh, to see the interaction with the animals. And they highlight, I don't know, a dozen in, a, in 20, 30 minutes, whatever it ends up being. And, and you, do, you feel like you could somehow make room for all of those animals. I feel that way anyway. I've tried. It's Trust me. I've tried to make room, and it hasn't quite worked yet. But, yes, it's absolutely true. And I will tell you, though, that they do a phenomenal job with the resources that they've got. So it's really a pleasure to be able to. Uh, we've got some great sponsors that help make that show possible, and, and we really encourage people to check it out. It's a great program, and you guys do a number of them. It's, uh, it's my pleasure to be involved with uh, Verde Valley Television here today. And, of course, this is uh, Pam Irvin. You know her, the host of the best program on VBTV, and that would be Senior Living, and you do just a wonderful job with that. It's so informative, entertaining, it's just a lot of fun, Pam, great job. All of our programs countywide, and uh, with uh, Brad Miller and Paul David, we have great uh, shows that uh, come in from Cottonwood, inside Cottonwood, and uh, yeah, the shows are great, but we have some pretty great guests that help make it that way. Making our way down now. This is going to be quite the presentation here as we're going to introduce to you the Yavapai Apache Nation Royalty and Group Dancers. And I think we have quite a show for you coming. Tribal royalty is always such an inspiring thing to see. They really try to maintain their cultural, their historical and cultural perspectives and it's just an awesome presentation. And they do a great job of it. The Yavapai Apache Nation royalties of 2012-2013 are escorted by the Yavapai Apache Nation warrior dancers. Please welcome them. And we're going to introduce to you Miss Yavapai Apache Nation. Francisca Bambi Ibarra. We also have Miss Teenage Yavapai Apache Nation, Mary Jane Pusher. Yavapai Apache Nation Princess, Leah Kinsey. First attendant, KD Marcus. Little Miss, Little Missy Yavapai Apache Nation, Janae Medina. First attendant, Annabelle Ibarra. Yavapai Apache Nation Tiny Tot Girl, Alice Kinsey. Yavapai Apache Nation Tiny Tot Boy, Theo Jake Ibarra. We'll sit back and enjoy this presentation. history as the uh, the community is the uh, beginnings of Camp Verde were rich with the uh, the native people as well as the uh, settlers that came to uh, to create communities in the West make lives for themselves that's what they were all after They receive a warm welcome and applause for their presentation from this great crowd we have on hand for this, the 56th annual Fort Verde Days Parade. As, and as we can imagine, uh, next uh, coming down only, only slightly uh, 
delayed by all of his fans is our um, recently retired Camp Verde Marshal, John Wishmeyer. He, was, he retired after 38 years in law enforcement. Seems to be a crowd favorite as well. Absolutely. Look at that dog. He's never going to be more than six. So, oh, I, and as soon as I say that, he runs to the truck. Oh, was there some cotton candy or yeah. some popcorn over well, there? Well, you know, we keep our cables in what's, what appears to be a trash can. He had to just make sure that there was uh, nothing left for him. That's a good point. Just cables. He wasn't interested. No. And we appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot of great sponsors also, Pam, that help uh, bring this parade to you wherever you're watching, whether it's on Verde Valley TV or online. On demand at VerdeValleyTV.com. We'd, of course, like to thank a few of our sponsors, including Salt River Material Group, Steve Corey Automotive Family on Highway 260 between Cottonwood and Cam Verde. You know, I've always said that, but they are in Cam Verde. They are in Camp they Verde. Are in they Camp truly Verde. are in Camp Verde, and, uh, and they, but they're so accessible, whether you're coming from Phoenix, Prescott, or Flagstaff, you just get off the freeway and head over to their, to their dealership. Nation Royalty Group and Dancer. Coming up, Pam, it looks like the Rio Verde Roverettes, an all-women's equestrian club from the Verde Valley. Their purpose is to promote good horsemanship, good sportsmanship, and the Verde Valley good health and the equestrian way of life. They're very, very involved in most of the parade and most of the events uh, that, have, that people can benefit from the equestrian lifestyle. We've got uh, age ranges from very, very young. Oh, look at them. They're doing a yeah. little bit of maneuvering here. Uh -huh. Gotta love that. You gotta love that. And, and everything you see, uh, red, white, and blue from the hats down to the painted hooves on the horses. Absolutely. And right behind them. This is going to be your second surprise in the program, uh -huh. Pam. I've, I've, I've kept a few to the side. This will be Listen the Verde Valley Republicans. Great old vehicle. Yeah, absolutely. Promoting everyone. Get out there and vote November 6th. And speaking of voting, uh, with within this group of uh, entries into the parade, we have Mr. Thomas Thurman. He's a candidate for District 2 Supervisor. Believes in keeping Yavapai County government sound, and he supports common sense with proven ability. The elections are right around the corner. They are right too. around the corner, and it is important no matter which way you vote, get Just out there and vote. vote. <laughs> yeah, a few nice motorcycles in the parade. Great jacket as well. Exactly. We were in our jackets this morning, but uh, that sun comes out. It's just, it's just a perfect day. We can't say it enough. I'd also like to welcome Buck Buchanan, also running for District 2 Supervisor. You can visit him online at buck, the number four, super.org. Buck Buchanan in this year's Four Verde Days Parade. And look at that boat. I was just going to say, again, I have another one that I just want to go follow them. They look like they're having a lot of fun. I, I think we could take these floats and, and go have fun for the next number of weekends. And he's got a couple of uh, rescue dogs there, it looks like. They're Gonna, they can jump in and save him if uh, yeah. anybody gets in and in trouble. <laughs> well, right behind him, look at that GMC. Is that not one of the coolest trucks? And uh, it is pulling a great float with the Camp Verde Realty team. It's your hometown team. They're a full service company ready to serve your real estate needs. And they now do property management. They've been part of the Camp Verde community for a long, long time. And, and by part of, I mean that they participate in all of these kinds of things as well. Following Camp Verde Realty, we'd like to welcome to this year's Fort Verde Days Parade, Verde Propane, the 25 gallon guys Locally owned and operated business serving the entire Verde Valley, Sedona, and the nation. They want to thank, of course, all of our first responders as we all continue to do throughout today's parade for the countless hours responding to emergencies, big and small. You are greatly appreciated. God bless you and thank you for all of your hard work to all of the first responders who we continue to honor throughout today's 56th annual Fort Verde Days Parade. I'd also like to thank Stage Stop Businesses. 
including laid back jewelers, Ellis Firearms, and Lori's looking good family hair design and tanning, as well as the horn. Stop by, kick back, and be a part of Western history in the heart of historic downtown Camp Verde. Just a few of our great sponsors. And I just was told that, that we got a little bit ahead as we, we get anxious. You know, we're, we're sitting up high on the truck, fam, so, so we can see some of the floats coming before our cameras catch up. So we got excited, and uh, we will re-welcome Verde Propane, the 25-gallon guys, locally owned and operated business, serving again the entire Verde Valley, Sedona, and the nation. And again, they want to thank, as we continue to do, the first responders for their countless hours responding to emergencies, big and small. Again, Verde Propane, proud to be involved in this year's parade. Right behind them, another the, the, the entry that just grabs my heart. Check out that tractor. You that gotta is a love the John tractors Deere. when it's in parade. Yeah, it is perfect. And these are the ladies uh, with National Bank of Arizona. They're paying tribute not only to our first responders, but as we talked about earlier, they're uh, acknowledging Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and what they have on pink. Hats, gotta love it. Love it, love it, I do. And that is a big tractor pulling that trailer. It's great to see the tractors always involved in the parades. Just a small town girl, world. Playing some good music as well, leading us into our next, hard to call it a flow, more of a presentation. And this would be the Dirty Birdie Roller Derby. Girls are in their third season. You can come see them play, uh, of course, during the four Birdie Days festivities. They also call the um, Birdie uh, Riverfront Park. Riverfront Park, that's yeah. Good. That's kind of their home. The Dirty Verde Roller Derby, you can find them on Facebook as well for upcoming events. Look for the signs uh, throughout the Verde Valley as well. They promote their events pretty well. Their, their last game that I saw on Facebook was uh, they kicked some tail on the other team. Really? So they are really doing some uh, some good stuff. Good you can hear. catch up with them on uh, Facebook at uh, DVRD. Right after the Roller Derby Girls, Parkside Church. Camp Verde, as we've talked about, is the, the the entire community supports the Fort Verde Days Parades and supports the community. We are thrilled that Parkside Church is involved, uh, becomes part of the community, and, and made a great presentation for us during the parade. We also have Celebrate Recovery events taking place Fridays at 7 p.m. You can contact the church for more information on that. And Parkside has a preschool and child care center. That's something that we all need to know about from time to time. Absolutely. Important. Looks like we're going to skip a number and we're going to go listen to that antique horn. <laughs> now this is Walt Hill driving a 1970 Citron. Citron. I hadn't heard of it. And now that I see it, I don't think I've seen one before. <laughs> Front wheel drive, two cycle and air cooled. That's a nicely restored little vehicle. It's a very nicely restored vehicle. Gotta it love it. Takes you back to when vehicles were a little simpler. Okay, here's another one. Here's another, another one. Character. I love it. This is George John Morgan. He's driving a 1919 Caravan logging truck built in Portland, Oregon. It's the only one known left in existence, and it was restored in 2008 by George Morgan. Now, this is his vehicle as well. George also owns his 1924 Dodge pickup. It doesn't look like a Dodge pickup, though, does I, it? I think it's another one of those surprises, Brian. It's another I think, surprise. Yeah, I think so. I believe that this is um, an Alfa Romeo. Eight-cylinder, 2300cc, 1931 car built on a 1977 Bug chassis. Is that, could that be right? That's amazing. You just read that with no notes. Wow. You are a car girl. I love it. Oh, that siren can only mean one thing. The Camp Verde Ace Hardware driving the 1957 Ford Fire Truck from Camp Verde Ace Hardware right here on Main Street in Camp Verde. And that is the home 
of legendary service. Also the home of that legendary bucket sale they do every anniversary. Oh, you gotta I love, love the bucket that. sale. Oh yeah, I can't <laughs> miss that. Ace Hardware and this beautiful 1957 Ford Fire Truck. Quite Absolutely. an antique. Yeah. And it is, uh, again, Camp Verde Hardware, as most of the businesses throughout the town of Camp Verde, very supportive of all the community yes. events. Okay, now this is an interesting one, Brian. This is Randy and Susie Bruce, and they are driving a 1926 Sea Cab flatbed hot rod. It's a fun car that they drive around all over the state. It's been to Laughlin and Henderson, and um, hopefully our cameras will get a great shot um, as it passes by because it says it all. They're just having fun. Looks like a lot of fun, but you see the leg room on that. It'd be, it'd be tough to drive to Laughlin or anywhere of a great distance. Uh, now that you mention it, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Have to take a few stops for uh But boy, would you legs. look good doing it. You'd be his style, wouldn't you? It, might be, you? it yeah. might be worth it. And bless their hearts, they are just having fun. And By the way, it's Susie's birthday, so happy birthday, Susie. Happy birthday. Now, this is... Chuck Crisoli, I hope I'm saying your last name correctly. Now this, Chuck is driving a 1945 Hupmobile. One of only, want to take a guess? How about 80 that were manufactured? One of only 80 that were manufactured. So when you talk about rare vehicles, this, this is about as rare as they get. You know, Brian, I am a car guy, but I didn't know a Hupmobile. And uh, they were manufactured in Detroit, right here in okay. America, from 1909 until the mid-40s. and. Uh, it's amazing. So there were more of them, but the but this particular 41, there were only 80, but they like probably 500 is what I think I read. John Gray is uh, driving a 1946 Chevy one and a half ton hydraulic dump flatbed. Um, he's a lifetime resident of Cap Verde. Most of us have heard of John Gray. And it was restored to original condition by Keith and Jody Jackson of Crossroads Trucking. Uh, John's daughter, son-in-law, and other family members helped in that restoration. Beautifully done, I might add. Now this looks to be... We mentioned earlier the uh, Verde Entertainment bringing Kingdom of the Spiders right here to Camp Verde. And you're invited to the free showing on Saturday, October 27th. It's at the Town Hall Field. Um, and it's another one of those things that made Camp, helped, helped make Camp Verde famous. I've had a friend that told me that the uh, movie, the production studio brought uh -huh. in thousands of spiders and that's why we still have so many to this day. Not sure if that's <laughs> true or not. All right. Glenn and Allen. Really, looks like the Camp Verde Historical Society. Ron Bratton and the Historical Society would like to encourage you to take the bull by the horns and volunteer with the town of Camp Verde. Great message because without the Historical Society, we would not be doing what we're doing today. They're the ones that help preserve all of this for us. Right behind uh, Ron is Glenna and Alan Shabatka. Um, they're driving a Polaris Ranger for their boss. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder who that could be. Yeah. All right, then we have Dale E. Creek. Crick. Number 793, Chapter of the Military Order of the Purple Heart. This group restored the 1966 Ford flatbed with names of all Flagstaff veterans who have lost their lives in wartime. This chapter was named after Dale, who was killed in Vietnam, February 11th, 1969. And you can see all of the names on the side of that truck. What a great tribute. Yeah, quite a memorial. Well done, well done. Plus their family are driving a Polaris Ranger for their boss. And as always, the Shriners, part of almost every parade we can think of throughout the Verde Valley, um, helping kids since 1922. These Shriners are from Camp Verde Cottonwood, sponsored by El Zariba Shrine of North America. The members work hard raising funds to support their 22 children's hospitals throughout the U.S. Their motto is love to the rescue. Um, if you need information, just ask a Shriner. 
They do a lot of great, great work, the Shrine Club does, and we appreciate them uh, being so active in the community, involved in so many great parades. We'd also like to welcome one of our great sponsors of today's parade on Verde Valley TV, and that would be Laid Back Jewelry right here in downtown Camp Verde. They're on Main Street. They're here to make you happy. Stop by and see how they do it. Have a great time during Fort Verde Days, and uh, uh, if you weren't able to uh, make it out to Fort Verde Days, they were also hosting a big car show on the Sunday of Fort Verde Days right across from Circle K by their shop. So. Jim's very involved with all the, he's a car guy too, mm -hmm. gotta love those mm -hmm. car guys, and he's very involved with a lot of those, also very involved with the Lions Club, so right. again, tremendous community contribution. want to mention while well, we've got one more second here a um, couple more of our sponsors we want to thank Bertie Solaire uh, they are helping us bring this to you today uh, for all of your AC heating plumbing solar and geothermal needs and the town of Camp Verde who graciously provided us the electricity to uh, get us on the air as well and uh, to get this parade to you They've done a great job coordinating it. We've had uh, just a few changes uh, in the program, but that's always going to happen. But it looks like we have uh, a great turnout in the community, a lot of great floats, and, of course, the turnout of uh, spectators is just mind-boggling. It sure is. And uh, here's John with Classic Picture Framing. He's been a part of Camp Verde for many years as well. Um, go see John for all of your picture framing needs. Want to mention you said you mentioned how well it's been running, which it has run beautifully, and I'm sure there were very, very, very many people involved in making that happen. But in particular, we want to thank the gals with the uh, Camp Verde Promotions. Uh, they were the the impetus for uh, allowing several events in Camp Verde to continue to happen, and we sure appreciate all their efforts. Uh, they do it uh, with minimal numbers of, uh, of ladies that are involved, but they sure know how to go out there and get the rest of the community to help. And uh, yeah, and that, I think that uh, goes back to grab the bulls by the horns and uh, volunteer. volunteer. Help uh, the town of Camp Verde as we welcome float number 49 in today's parade, and that is the Camp Verde Kiwanis, an active service organization of over 36 years right here in Camp Verde. The Kiwanis is still active in helping children in the community by sponsoring youth sports programs and help them, help them focus on education and music. And we thank the Camp Verde Kiwanis for being involved in today's parade. Well, I saw a couple of the members there. Uh, lots of the kids are great anyway, but uh, newly elected Kiwanis president is Jerry Lurito. He's uh, a, a long-standing member of the community. Key club president, Shanika Daniels, and vice president, Morgan Kreefer. Uh, Kiwanis motto is serving children of the world, one child and one community at a time, and they have sur sure served this community well. They certainly have. So we welcome the Bread of Life, mission serving the Lord in Camp Verde for 18 years, helping those in need with food for the body and soul every Tuesday. The Bread of Life doing great work here in Camp Verde. You know, we've talked over the uh, last few months, statistics, and I don't remember the numbers again. I guess there we are. We're not very good with that. But um, the number of nonprofits trying to help members of the community has more than doubled in the last few years. And uh, it takes an awful lot of volunteers to keep those uh, efforts going and a lot of people to help out. And certainly, unfortunately, with that, the need has also gone up, Pam, too. And it, we've... Uh, uh, been active with food drives, so we have another one coming up. Uh, the uh, turkey drive coming up the Monday before Thanksgiving will be right. at Northern Arizona uh, grocery stores collecting those turkeys. You betcha. Uh, and the little stagecoach, Kestrel Gorlick, he's, uh, it's a motorized miniature stagecoach. He's 13. What a great, <laughs> yeah, what a great job. As we welcome American Family Insurance Jewel Cole believes in adventures. However, Jewel is very cautious and also believes in protecting yourself during your adventures. You can give her a call. She will protect the American dream. Your dream is out there. Go get it. American Family Insurance will protect it. Hey, 
You should be on TV. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, another one of the, the members of this community for a long time, Rainbow Acres. It's the Southwest's premier Christian residential community for adults with developmental disabilities. It's located in Camp Verde, um, and they truly honor first responders everywhere. All right, and uh, coming up, we have the American Legion Riders. The American Legion and VFW Riders are a group of veterans dedicated to veteran causes and meeting the needs of the community through charitable events. Listen to the rumble. The American Legion Riders. Here we go again, I wanna go. <laughs> wow, look at that. This is some great looking machines. It's very much so. to see well, so many of the American Legion riders on hand in this year's parade. Absolutely, what a great event. Um, Brian, it looks like we're uh, we're kind of at the tail end of the, uh, right. the well, parade, but we've got a few more of our local responders, a few members of the community that have helped make this parade possible and safe. I was going to say, I don't think the Camp Verde Marshal's office was in today's parade, so I think that means they're about to open the street. I well, think that was the parade. I think that was the parade. They were though, because our new um, our new marshal was uh, on one of the floats with our first responders. But I do think that this is a wrap. And it was a great parade, great turnout, and in Fort Verde, if you've never been to this event, it's a weekend full of festivities, events, carnivals, bull bash taking place. It's it's valley wide, and it's a great community event and uh, they have a lot of fun in store this weekend. They certainly do, there's so many events and I am sure that everyone that is here plans to spend a good part of the rest of the day. Great community turnout. Again, we wanna thank Camp Verde for promotions uh, for all of their efforts in making this the su success that it is. Again, their sponsors uh, in bringing this to the community. Uh, it's pick up, pick up a program, make sure that you uh, c commend them for their participation and our sponsors for making this possible so that we can see it uh, several more times on Verde Valley Television. Right, and we'd also like to thank those sponsors now, and that includes Salt River Materials Group. We'd like to thank the Steve Corey Automotive family, the Stage Stop Businesses, Laid Bang Jewelers, Ellis Firearms, and Lori's Looking Good Family Hair Design and Tanning. We've got the Horn Saloon right here in historic downtown Camp Verde. Verde Solaire meeting all of your uh, indoor comfort needs and the town of Camp Verde. Again, thank you so much for all of your help in making this possible. We appreciate it. For Verde Valley Television and Yavapai Broadcasting, we thank you for joining us. Brian, I've had a great day. Pam, I thank you so much for inviting me out here today. It was a great parade, perfect weather, and an unbelievable turnout. And uh, oh, wow, a lot of fun to be had now at Fort Verde Days. Let's go. Let's go enjoy it. We'll see you next time. Thank you for viewing the 56th Annual Fort Verde Days Parade, presented by Camp Verde Promotions. Our television broadcast has been brought to you by Salt River Materials Group, creating opportunities and solutions with quality products and exceptional people. 100% American. Steve Corey Automotive Family, our family serving your family, on Highway 260 in Camp Verde. Stage Stop Businesses, Laid Back Jewelers, Ellis Firearms, and Lori's Looking Good Family Hair Design and Tanning. In the Adobe Stage Stop Building in downtown Camp Verde. The Horn Saloon. Stop by, kick back, and be a part of Western history in the heart of historic downtown Camp Verde. Verde Solar Services, AC heating, plumbing, solar, and geothermal, your indoor comfort experts for over 29 years.
and the town of Camp Verde, Arizona's base camp to adventure.